So a pretty common question I've seen being asked is how much money you need to start playing online poker. So I'm going to get right into it. Of course, as I'm getting into this topic, I'm going to be breaking down a few hands here in Bovada on a $500 cash game. And if you guys are looking for some great poker sites and resources, I'll also have some links in the description. Okay, so the minimum you want to start with as a bankroll is $2,000, and I'm going to explain why. You know, when I first started playing online poker, I would do those $100 deposits, $200 deposits, $500 deposits, and I would always lose that money. Now, if you start with $2,000, you could look at this as an investment of trying to make it a side income. And I think $2,000 is you're going to take it more seriously, right? And that's what this is all about. You want to take this more serious because you're not trying to lose, right? You want to win and you want to make money. Now, when you start with this $2,000 bankroll, you immediately want to start playing the $100 cash games, which would be the $0.50 cent dollar games. Then, once you double your bankroll to 4000 you can move up to the $2 games and start making some decent money. And that's how I would do it. If I had to start all over again, that is what I would do. And you know, starting with that higher dollar amount of $2,000, I'm telling you right now, you're going to you know, thank, your, thank yourself later for doing that. You could learn from my mistakes. Anyways, if you guys want to comment below about any of this or have any questions about you know, bankroll sizes or anything like that, feel free to message me below in the comments. Now, you're also going to want to stick around to the end because we had an absolute crazy all-in situation. I promise you're not going to want to miss. Um, I was playing extremely aggressive in this cash game session, and uh, you're going to see that I made some plays that were pretty iffy, but, you know, sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit when you're playing, right? When you're playing the $500 games, these players are pretty decent, they're not the greatest, but you gotta you gotta play poker. You gotta bluff. Anyways, this hand was crazy. It was a nine seven suited. This guy was representing a big hand, and look at that. We flopped it. He's gonna continue with a ninety four dollar bet. Uh, basically, with the flush draw out there and some turn cards that could, you know, make it harder for this guy to play the hand if he has like a high pocket pair. I just felt like going all in right here would make a lot of sense. Because if he's holding a hand like pocket queens, kings, or aces, I think it would be hard for him to fold here, especially with the flush draw out there and some draws. But he folded it. Very frustrating. Turn card would have been a nine, and that probably would have slowed the hand down anyways. So, yeah, I don't really regret shoving right there. Uh, anyways, next hand we had pocket aces in the small blind. It was kind of weird too. In this session, I kept getting pocket aces and I was like, what is going on? Because it, you know, sometimes you'll play for two or three hours and, you know, you won't get pocket aces. And then all of a sudden you're getting aces all the time. And that happened to me. I think I got pocket aces like three times in this session. All right. This guy was playing super slow. All right, so standard $15 raise here. This guy's going to re-raise us to like 45 bucks, which is nice. You know, you want to see that for sure. Um, I decided just to come over the top after he did this. Hoping he had a hand like ace-king. Sometimes you'll get somebody to call with ace-queen as well. Not all the time, but I've been seeing it lately where people are shoving their whole stack in with ace-queen. But yeah, he's going to end up folding this one, and uh, it is what it is, you know. Would have been nice to get a, a call in the first couple hands on those all-ins, but didn't work out that way. All right, next hand, we had an ace-jack offsuit in the big. All right, standard here, raise it up to 15 bucks. All right, player five only had $145 left. I think he bought in with like 150, which makes absolutely no sense to me. You're gonna buy in for that much in a you know $500 game. Uh, okay, anyways, uh, really nothing here. This guy is gonna make a bet, but we've got two over cards, so I wasn't ready to just let it go. All right, turn card was um, a four. Didn't 
help us out at all. So I had to kind of, you know, think about it. Um, he ended up checking it, which was kind of funny. Uh, he only had a hundred bucks left. So I just went for the all in bluff, hoping he didn't have a pair of tens or something. And he folded it pretty quick. So obviously he was just bluffing right there. All right, next hand, we had a king queen offsuit in the small. Okay, just a small $5 raise. I just called it. I could have three bet this. But I'm glad I didn't because an ace hit the board and this was a check fold for us. Really no reason to take it any farther. Very likely somebody's got an ace here. So just a fold. But yeah, get ready because we got a pretty sick hand coming up here. Super, super crazy. That guy folded with 30 bucks left. He folded that hand. That is hilarious. Okay, so here we go, guys. Uh, Jack-9 offsuit in the big blind. I decided to spice this up, right? I just was like, all right, we're going to spice this hand up. I'm going to three bet this. Now, you can mix your three bets, you know, however you want to. Uh, but, uh, you know, this, this is probably not the greatest hand to three bet. If it was suited, sure. A Jack nine suited, you could do that every once in a while just to mix things up, apply pressure, build pots, etc. Um, but you know, I did what I wanted to here playing very aggressive in this session, just three betting a lot of different hands and, uh, not a bad flop for us. Right. And we are going to take it, um, <sighs> We are going to take it to the max right here. Up and down straight draw. I just decided, you know what? Let's do this. Let's run it twice. Uh, but we can't run it twice. Anyways, he made the call with queens. You're not going to believe the river. Oh, my God. Right? Um, absolutely insane. It's interesting, too. I wonder if that hand would have played out the same way if we didn't both go all in because... You know, if you re-look at it, there were obviously flush draws out there, but the Jack Nine would have been so disguised um, that we probably ended up would have ended up getting it all in on the, uh, you know, river. Honestly, but uh, but yeah, I mean, crazy, crazy hand. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed another uh, quick session here. Like I said, as far as like the amount you should start. If you're just starting to play online poker, maybe redepositing, just start with 2000 bucks. Try to build it up to four to move up the, to the $200 cash games. 20 binds is totally fine. Um, and yeah, okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next poker video.